Okay, this is going to be a brief video introduction to the note-taking assignment criteria. I will post this rubric to Classroom as per usual. Um, this part right here is very important to read. Think about Chapter 10, read Chapter 10 in How to Study in College. You're going to paraphrase how to take the note styles listed below. You're going to type the paraphrases, include drawing or designs as appropriate. Those drawings and designs can come from the internet. They can come from may, being made from the book. And if you take a gander at the book, page 236 to 271 in How to Study in College, Chapter 10, you'll see that many of the note styles are have graphics that go along with them. So that can help you um, write a paragraph that compares and contrasts the note taking styles that were that you did um, paraphrases for and then take notes in one of the styles and reformat chapter 14 of how to study in college. So chapter 14 is the research paper uh, chapter, the, the research skills chapter. Um, you're going to take notes in one of these formats for ch on chapter 14 um, in addition to paraphrasing. Okay, so I know that um, this is a little bit unique in terms of trying to think about um, trying to think so I'm sorry about that. The paragraph um, should have a topic sentence, details that use comparison and contrast with the note-taking methods and organization, uh, no, the note-taking methods, and then a conclusion. This paragraph can get a little bit lengthy, so it may end up being um, two paragraphs. Okay, so what you're going to need to see probably is some examples of how this looks. Um, so that you can effectively put this together. Um, so the easiest and best thing to do as you're watching this video, as, as you're looking at me, is if you take a look at page 243, starting on page 243 in chapter 10 of the How to Study in College book, starting on page 243, and I'm going to put up some examples here of what a good one might look like. That's a paragraph, excuse me. So these are some examples. So starting on page 243, start with the Cornell system. You see this person um, summarized the Cornell system and made a uh, Q column, note taking area, summary area as a graphic display of how to take notes using the Cornell system. So basically this person used page two, starting on page 244 of the, uh, of the text, uh, the How to Study in College text summarized the Cornell system and then made a graphic organizer. Now, you can just take the graphic organizers from the book and, and make them in, a, in the Google Docs, in, in drawing, um, in Google Drawing, however you would want to do it. You can also take images that you find off, off Google, off the internet themselves, that's that's fine too. The only thing you cannot do, you cannot, I can't emphasize this enough, you, please do not just take pictures of the actual book and, and try to slide them into the into into your Google's um, Docs pages. Um, that is bordering on plagiarism. Taking Google uh, a Google um, image is okay. Um, but just taking the actual book is not really permissible because of copyright. So uh, please do not do that. You can re try to recreate the images from the book if you can um, in your Google Docs or in Google Draw, but you cannot do it uh, just by taking a picture. Anyways, so this is how the samples look. So this would be like for the paragraph system. Um, a, sum, a, pair, a sentence or two on summarizing the paragraph system and then um, make, giving an example of what the paragraph system looks like. List style. How does list style look? So a couple sentences on how list style looks and then um, doing a, a graphic organizer for list style. The other 
part that you will need to do if you go back to your rubric is these are the different note styles. Please note that um, uh, one that's um, please note that studying using the question system is part of Cornell. You may may not have a graphic organizer for number two. You might just explain number two on a separate um, Google page, uh, Google Docs page, but you will need uh, to explain that. And that one is in chapter 11. And I note that on the rubric here, as you can see, it is on page 280 and 281. The other pieces that you can do that are, lend themselves nicely to graphics and explanation are the organizational patterns, which can be found roughly at the end of chapter 10. And I'm going to show you some examples, some really nice examples of the organizational patterns, um, movement patterns uh, that um, previous students have done, movement patterns, and it shows a move, movement pattern, look at it time chronological, importance patterns, causal patterns, uh, be cause and effect, comparison patterns, logical patterns, some nice graphics here, um, basically just pulled from, from Google. And then they, they summarize or the, the chapter um, on sections on that in, in their, in their doc. Okay. Last part I need to show you is the actual note taking comparison um, paragraph. And a nice example of that, if I can get to it, is right here. Um, you'll notice the one thing that if I was this person that I would have done differently is I would have made a paragraph a break someplace. Um, someplace in here, maybe starting with the combination format. Um, someplace in here, this paragraph gets very long. The, the information in the actual paragraph is excellent, but it could be maybe made into two, two paragraphs, which um, would be, I think, would be a little bit more effective. Um, there are various types of note takes other playing in chapter 10 of how to set in college two main groups of the Cornell system. And one little hint, many of the note taking styles are grounded or based on the Cornell system. They're grounded or based on the Cornell system. For that reason, um, th it might be good to, to talk about that as part of your comparison in the in the compare and contrast paragraph. Um, the Cornell will ask you through our similar end result, both provide a study method that will help if we learn. The format is each is different because Cornell requires a very specific page setup. One of the many formats of the Cornell system, the paragraph style relates to the list style and the way that a main idea is picked and then an explanation follows. So you see that this person is comparing the paragraph style to the list style, but then realizing that, that it's in the Cornell format. So this is the conclusions they're drawing and this was a very well written very well written paragraph so that's the the comparison paragraph the other thing is that you have to take one of these styles or on, there's a couple of other styles that i didn't make you do here so you could do it in one of the other styles and take notes on the you need to take notes on the uh, chapter 14 how to study in college now in order to show you that, I'm going to show you one way that you can that you can do this on Google Docs when you submit in Classroom. So these are the best examples from last year, I will say, but this is a good example of how to submit it on Google Docs. So this person, one thing that they could have done differently is get a, they could have started their Google Doc with a nice title page. Um, and then the other thing that they can do is when you insert images or you, you make a graphic, you can insert it from... Uh, inserting a drawing um, if you want and make a make an image using a drawing or you can just insert a table or an image that way um, however you wish to do it but one thing I want to show you is how this person did there um, they have some nice graphics too for the uh, the, the importance patterns um, and I'm going to have to put this on another slide because I'm running out of recording it's another recording because I'm running out of recording time